Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video. So in this one, then we're gonna be looking at some different dropshipping stores. Um, each one is successful in its own right. And when I say successful, I'm talking about six figures um, consistently on a monthly basis. So one of the things I like to do in my spare time, um, probably because I'm a bit of a saddo really. So my girlfriend will be watching these stenders or Love Island, whatever it is. And I will just be flicking through different dropshipping stores, looking at what their best selling products are, um, the kind of style of Facebook ads they're running, and just in general, the kind of things that I can learn from them and implement into my own stores. Um, the reason I do this then is because because I'm a big believer in if you want to learn how to do anything successfully, there's no one better to learn from than people who are already doing it successfully. So essentially what I'm looking for in a dropshipping store um, is number one is that they're producing pretty decent um, sales numbers. It's difficult to kind of find out how much profit they're making, but you can kind of guesstimate, I guess, if you reverse engineer the numbers. And then the second thing, and probably the most important thing for me as well, is finding a dropshipping business that's able to produce consistent numbers, because in my opinion that is the most difficult thing to do um, it's easy or at least I found it easy in my first year to find that one or two products that did really well for say two or three months but what I really struggled with was then producing those results consistently over the course of say six or 12 months so that's kind of like the two main things that I'm looking for with that being said then guys that is the topic of the video um, thanks for tuning in I hope you enjoy it if you do enjoy the video please do make sure you let me know by hitting that like button any questions whatsoever I do read every single comment as well so if there is something you want to get answered or ask me um, just simply pop it in the comment section down below and finally please do make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel as well with that being said then thanks again for tuning in and uh, yeah let's get straight into store number one what's going on guys so this is store number one then it's called typicalgoodies.com now if you want me to do say like a second video on how I found these stores um, then just comment let's say comment part two in fact and then perhaps I could do like a follow-on video from this one where I show you how I actually find these um, now it's quite interested in fact or excited to show you guys this store because Number one is the fact that it's a general store and there's a, a general stores still even today get a lot of hate be, and people say they don't work. Whereas these guys are like a real life example of how general stores still do work and how ultimately the fundamentals of an e-commerce business are the product, the marketing campaign and the site. And as long as you do th all three of those things pretty decently, then you've got a good chance of getting some good results. So to prove to you guys then that this store isn't just a load of rubbish because to be honest, in my opinion, it actually looks like it. Like their logo doesn't even stand out really from their background image. If we just head over to this pretty cool tool, it's called similarweb.com. And as long as the site is big enough, you can come over to them, put their URL in, and it's gonna give you a ton of different information about them. So just to give you a quick overview then of the kind of information you can find out, because obviously you guys can go out and put your own stores into here and see what kind of information comes up, is number one is it gives you a traffic overview. So we can see in December 2019, they got roughly 130,000 visits. Now I've compared this against my own stores and you're looking at about a tolerance of plus or minus 20%. So it is fairly accurate and you can get a pretty decent idea of how successful um, sites actually are the number two as well which is pretty good because what I'm going to show you in a second is how to find a store's best-selling products and then we'll also be able to from this information here find out who is buying those products so we know exactly what product to sell and then what countries are actually buying it so which countries to target um, with our Facebook ads what's also really cool about this site is it tells you where that traffic is coming from so as we can see over half of that traffic is coming from social sites and I believe if we just scroll down a bit further it will tell us which sites and it does um, and almost well pretty much hundred percent of that is coming from on Facebook so we can see the chances are these guys are also running Facebook ads as well so again that's a really good thing for us because if these guys can find a product on Aliexpress advertise it on Facebook and sell it profitably in these countries that I've just showed you then there's absolutely no reason why we can't implement exactly that same strategy so if we just head back to their site then we can have a quick look at a couple of other things um, now when it comes to looking at stores if you're not quite sure whether a store is a dropshipping store I mean the more time you kind of spend within dropshipping especially looking on Aliexpress at different products certain products will just stand out to you right away and you'll be able to tell straight away if they are dropshipping stores but just in case you're not chances are if you scroll right to the bottom there'll be like a shipping and return section like there is here and then what we're looking for is their quoted shipping time so standard delivery we ship to multiple countries internationally um, and your package can take anywhere between one and four weeks so this screams or tells us pretty much guarantees the fact that these guys are drop shipping 
Um, apart from the fact as well is that I've seen the majority of these products um, on AliExpress too. So now we're on their site then, the thing that we're kind of most interested in is what their best selling product is because this is the products that we wanna um, kind of put our attention on. So I've got a handy little Chrome extension installed. It's called Shopify Inspector. And the version I use is free. There's no need to use anything else. Um, and talking of free things, um, this site, bearing in mind they do over 100K per month, I will be showing you the breakdown in a second. They also use a free Shopify theme, which is the Brooklyn theme. And you can actually install that directly from the Shopify app store too. The other thing it tells you is the current apps this store is using. Now, to be honest, I wouldn't rely too much on this information from what I've found comparing against my own stores. It's not very accurate at all. But what it does tell you then is the best sellers. You can go click on best sellers and it's gonna take a straight, it kind of lists them in the order. So at the top of the list was this four-in-one multi-functional hands-free mop. They're selling it for $40. And see, I've, I've looked at a lot of sites in the past and looking at this, like I would put this in maybe like the top 30 or 40% of stores I've seen. It's really not that great. If these guys spent a bit more time on this, perhaps paid a designer or even just had a bit more care and attention, um, they could probably do a lot better. But it just shows as long as you've got a good product and a good marketing campaign and your store isn't that bad, then you can still make some pretty decent money. And speaking of money then, I've got kind of like a guesstimated breakdown of how much money these guys actually make. Um, so starting with the amount of visits these guys get, we, based on the previous month, they got 140,000 visits. The conversion rate I'm basing these numbers on is 3%. Now to be honest, 3% is quite modest because of the way that we function as a business and we run direct marketing, then our conversion rate should be higher than someone like Amazon where they get a lot of people naturally and organically on their site that would just browse and not buy something sometimes. But because we're running direct marketing, then our conversion rate is gonna be a bit higher. So I've gone for 3%, which is pretty modest. Um, and if 3% of 140, 40,000 visits then is 4,200 orders. If the average order value is $40, again, that's probably quite modest because the cheapest um, variant of that mop they were selling was $42. So that's not if they add any upsells or buy any other products, then they're gonna be looking at about $168,000 per month in revenue. So that's 4,200 orders times the $40 um, average order value is $168,000 um, US dollars per month, which is pretty decent, especially for a general store. What will be interesting to see is whether they can actually keep these numbers up because they kind of only have had December and January being two big months for them. Previously, prior to that, we saw they were only getting about 10,000 visits. So this will definitely be a store I'll be keeping my eye on. And it's a definitely a great store to be um, keeping kind of bookmarked um, and just keeping an eye on what their best selling products are. Being a general store, there's gonna be a whole multitude and range of different products um, in which they're gonna be testing. Just a little fun fact as well for that store, um, in terms of their traffic ranking, so monthly visits, and they're actually above CarlyCosmetics.com, which is ran by Carly Jenner. Um, and this is a store as well that's probably ran by a dropshipper just like me or you, um, whereas two months ago, um, they were only getting 10,000 visits, now they're outperforming Kylie Jenner. So it just goes to show um, how quickly you can actually scale up um, a dropshipping business. With that being said then, we've been recording for nearly 10 minutes, so we'll go through one more store and then perhaps if you want me to carry this on um, into part two, um, then I can do so. So just make sure you comment part two if you wanna find out how I found these stores and you want me to say look at a couple more. So the second store I wanna show you in this video is called Trend Deploy, or I think it's meant to be pronounced Trend Deploy. Um, and again, a really interesting store that I think you guys are really gonna like and be shocked as well by how successful these guys are considering that number one, if we just use our Shop Inspect tool, um, we can see they're using their debut theme, which is again, another free theme that you can install um, directly from the Shopify app store. Um, it's also another general store. They sell, as you can see, um, loads of different products. They have pet products, they have fitness products, they have general products, they have gadgets. So a whole range of different products. Now, the reason why I'm so excited to show you this store is because the first one I showed you didn't really have that continued success over the course of a long period of time, whereas these guys do. So if I just show you the Facebook ad library, here is an ad that they've been running. It started running in May 2019. So the only reason somebody runs an ad for that long is because it's making them money. So out of interest then, I'm just gonna play this from the very beginning so we can have a look. Okay. 
It's actually a pretty good video. It's quite basic. You can see they've probably just gone to the local gym, but they're clearly demonstrating exactly what the product can do, what it can be used for, and that's probably why it's been so successful, so successful too. Um, one of the reasons I, I've put out in previous videos of how to be successful or the best way to do it is to create original content. And to me, this looks like they've taken the time to order the product themselves and film some original content um, to use as a marketing ad. The next thing I wanna show you guys then about this particular store is their product page. So this was their best selling product or at least this is the products they're running the ads for. So if we just head across, um, it's always really important you look at um, stores product pages and in detail as well because essentially this is the page that people first come to um, and it's the first impression you're going to make with your customer so if your product page isn't up to scratch there's spelling mistakes or there's chinese brands or it just doesn't look very good then immediately the customer is going to be put off and they're not going to buy from you so it's always really important um, just to have a look around have a look through create like a collage of different um product page layouts and then kind of combine them into the ultimate one and the best one um, to implement into your own stores. Now, to be honest, if I had to rate this, um, just judging it and looking at everything as a whole, um, it's not bad actually. I'll probably give it like a 7.5, maybe an eight out of 10, but in my opinion, it could be improved. But at the end of the day, they've been running that ad since May. Um, so if it isn't broken, then there's no needed um, for it to be fixed. With that being said, then let's finish the video on on exactly how much money these guys are making. So number one, then they're getting 110,000 visits per month at a 3% conversion rate. Again, that is being quite conservative. I think they could probably be um, a bit higher than that because it is direct marketing and it is a fairly, um, it is a cheaper product than the previous one we looked at. That gives 3,300 orders times that by the average order value. So again, that's only if they purchase one and only one product too, um, without any upsells, without any cross sales. And you're looking at $35 um, per average order value. Times that $35 then by the 3,300 orders. And you're looking at give or take about 115,000 US dollars per month in sales. Now, when I'm running a purely dropshipping business, I'm looking at anywhere between kind of 15% and 30% profit margins. So just for this one particular product, say, or as an average, this store is probably making anywhere from say, um, 20 to 40 grand per month profit. Now, obviously that is quite a rough ballpark number, but it kind of gives you an idea then generally um, how much money these guys are making. And with that being said then guys, that is the video. That is the two stores I wanted to show you in this one. In fact, there was a third one, but I don't want to make these videos too long. Like I said, if you do want to see a part two, make sure you comment part two. I can show you the third store um, and I can also show you how I found these stores as well. So that being said then guys, thanks very much for watching. I really do appreciate everybody watches these videos by the way. So thank you. Um, please do make sure you subscribe as well for regular content on everything Shopify, dropshipping and Facebook ads. Please do make sure you hit that like button as well. It really helps with kind of like the growth of the channel. And finally, any kind of comments or questions you want me to see, just make sure you post them down below. That being said, have a great day and I will see you in the next one.